Talk about it. Xbox business. Let's get right to it. Uh, Xbox did their official Xbox podcast recently to announce some updates, things that we may have thought about that we were going to see very soon uh, from Xbox or any any company at this point. Um, so what did you think of the official Xbox box podcast talking about Xbox business and the update that they gave? So let's do an overview and then we'll di- dive into a little bit more. To be honest, I had to watch it like three times to really see how I felt. And you know what? I still don't know how I feel about it. And it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's not necessarily a good thing. It just came to like, why do I personally as a gamer care if if that really makes sense? Like they had really great information, but I guess when it comes down to it, which is the first thing they talked about, which is their exclusive games, like how they're handling that, how that's a concern, which is, all, it, I think it was a pretty hefty concern, not even just for the gaming community, but, you know, everybody. Um, when they started taking in and buying up these studios, they made this huge acquisition. Like, are we just going to see Jesse's games only on Xbox? And I feel like they didn't, quite outright answer that still like i felt like it was still you know using the business terms using all of those like businessman terms which i get it they are a business um and that's what they do but sometimes i just want a straight answer if you're gonna say that these games are just gonna stay on our platform in our ecosystem say that if you're gonna say that you know you will share eventually when it stops being a little bit profitable for us sure we'll share say that just be direct with me that's what i'm kind of kind of like so so let's so let's talk about that because i know we could spend a lot of time here one of the things that you said is why should you care as a gamer right and i think that when we think about where we play games and for most of us where between you and i we have pretty much all the platforms for someone who's looking forward to a particular title that they can't play on another platform you know what I mean? I think that's when it becomes, you know, why, why should we care? Like when we're on PC, we get access to a lot of different titles that other folks do not get. And I think that, you know, I do agree with you that I don't care either. I think it's because of where I am. Right. But I, I would care a little bit more if I was either on switch only or PlayStation only. And then the thing, the thing that you said also, which I find extremely interesting is that when you think about God of War being anywhere else besides PlayStation, it's still kind of like weird to play God of War on PC when it's been a PlayStation title for so long. You know what I'm saying? So I think like, what, what do you think about that? I think it's interesting to watch that even happen. It It is. There's certain, some games where I feel that way too. Like I can't picture myself playing final fantasy anywhere else um it's funny because my first final fantasy i played it on pc but then everything else was you know you had the super nintendo and then you had um playstation like i i can't really picture playing it anywhere else uh would it be great yeah of course it would because more people can enjoy it and and even if if it is a certain game like for me this is a strange one okay let's 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 put it this way I, I don't know how this is going to relate, but this just popped into my head. Call of Duty, when I used to play it regularly, I chose to make Xbox the primary platform to play it on. Even though it was available elsewhere, I chose to play it on Xbox because that's where all my friends were. Would I play it on PlayStation? No, I did once and I didn't like the feeling. I don't know why. I just didn't care for it. Like it felt right on Xbox. Um, But I, I just, there's only small amount of titles that i feel that way about though Mm. like i would want to have accessibility to play it anywhere any game so i I just think there's just a very small amount of games that i would like i would choose one platform over another i think i think there's a lot going on there even their their thing about you know every screen should be an xbox right there's there's that right and i think that's great because you know cloud allows you to do those things you know, a little bit easier than than the other way that we've seen it uh, traditionally. But I don't see Halo on any other platform, even though I don't necessarily rule that out, because for a while I never saw Sonic being on any other platform. But once the console, you know, disappeared because 
that business disappeared for them, then they had to become a, a title that's on all the other platforms as well to make the money that they wanted to make. Right. So I think it's an interesting thing to see certain titles, you know, stay on a platform for an extended period of time. And we talk about this before by way of exclusives and stuff like that. But now seeing some of the titles that they're proposing, you know, did you expect some of these titles? Like there's four that they're proposing right now, uh, Hi-Fi Rush, Pentiment, Grounded, and Sea of Thieves. Although that wasn't announced during the official podcast uh, for Xbox, those are the title that the, the world actually agrees that these are the ones that may get the first round you know, of, of release, what you, or a multi-platform release. What do you think about that? I think for definitely for the three of them, I am 100 on board with, but like uh, Diablo definitely makes sense um, to have that available. Hi-Fi, Hi-Fi Rush, definitely. And Sea of Thieves, yes. Um, sea of Thieves has been out for a while now for, I don't, don't ask me for how long, but I know for a while. Um, and their player base has been pretty strong, I would say. But then it's also very limited as for as long as they've been out. So if they want to expand that, which again, that they brought that up throughout their show about, you know, how how can we expand our player base? How can we expand our revenue? And obviously that is by opening it up to other platforms and making that available for everybody to play. I've heard Hi-Fi Rush was uh, on a Game Pass thing. So obviously they're not going to have that available for, for PlayStation. So, you know, make that a paid game mm. on PlayStation. Add to that. And then you have people who are like getting to experience this game. Same thing with Sea of Thieves. Um, but it's like, I guess I'm not surprised. I'm yeah. really not. Yeah, I'm not surprised either. I think the other thing too is like when you think about the console sales, you know, currently... I think Nintendo is at 130 million. PlayStation is at 53 million. Xbox is at 22 million, give or take. Uh, VG charts, you know, check it out to confirm. Those are approximates there, right? So we know for a while now, Xbox is not necessarily focusing on selling consoles. They're really pushing that we have 37 million, I think they announced for the Game Pass, right? I think that's what they shared. Which is a lot of people, right? So they're not really focusing on the console as much as they used to, but they did announce about the, you know, major leap that's going to happen and then next release for the console, you know, when they release that. So, so I think it's interesting to, to watch that even play out. But when you think about what they're considering for those games, it, those are not even games that I'm really like super excited about outside of Hi Fi Rush, right? But we're already playing that. We already have access to that. So, so for me, it was just like, this wasn't a big announcement. <laughs> like, I think that's the part that we have to like be honest about. Like, maybe we made, maybe we amplified this way more than it needed to be amplified because this wasn't like a major announcement. This was a, a nice thing to say, Hey, we see how the market is moving and we want to follow suit. Right. I, I think that's that's what I got from that. But but I, I just want to hold off on that. And any thoughts before we continue with some of the other uh, the points for Xbox? I, I have to mirror and agree with you wholeheartedly, because when you have them up there, like, oh, there's got to be something serious. Like and then it was like, OK, I mean, it's good information, but would 